Hello. We're here to talk today about how to write a resume for a pathologist or other kind of MD. But let's assume that pathologist is the specific one we're talking about. And remember that the purpose of a resume is to get an interview. It's not necessarily to tell somebody everything about yourself. You certainly want to be complete enough, and that sometimes can be an elusive target. But let's, let's look through an outline of one of these and see what it might look like. Obviously, at the top, you would have name, MD, other affiliations that you might have, FACS, something like that. And then your contact information including street address, email, home phone, and cell phone if you have one, recognizing that cell phones are more accessible, so if somebody's trying to get in touch with you, they're more likely to call you on a cell phone than they would, say, at a home phone. And education and training, of course, whatever fellowships you may have held, any postgraduate studies that you've done, of course, and resumes, sorry, excuse me, residencies that you've done. We're doing a resume, not a residency. And other medical training that you may have had, and then the school of medicine or schools of medicines that you may have attended, and the years in which you have attended those, or years of graduation. And then your undergraduate school as well. And then after that, we would like to see you put your professional experience, what organization you worked at, the location, and the years. Similarly, description of the position, the activities, the duties, and the significant accomplishments that you may have done within that particular position. And that would follow back if you've had more than one position because we're going in reverse chronological order here. So going back in time to previous position and the one before that and the one before that, of course. And at the top of each page, put your name, the number of that page, and your phone number again, your cell phone number. Again, this one I put in another area of similar professional experience. And as you see, you repeat if you have had other positions. Any awards and honors that you've had, association awards, corporate awards, government awards, military or academic, and then your current professional data, what states you are certified in, any medical licensures, obviously, any specialty certifications, and other certificates that you may have. Similarly, professional societies, academic appointments, professional activities that you do, advisory committees where you're listed, publications, editorials, and conferences that you have spoken at as well can be a valuable addition to a medical resume. And then we like to see some personal side of this as well, community activities that you may be involved in, and frankly, hobbies and leisure activities. And that is, again, an outline, a brief look at how you would go about constructing a resume if you were a pathologist or, or similar MD. Thank you very much for your attention.